Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Icing or Icing Inspiration live stream. Yeah, I got a little lost there. Hello everyone. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Hello. Let's see who is here today. Hi Heather. Hello, Martha, Cooler, Georgia. Yeah, it's cooling down, right? Paul is almost here. Hello to Brazil. Hello, Kathy. Fall is in the air. Yes, absolutely. Today, definitely, we're doing fall cookies. Hi, Sally. Hello, hello. Hi, June. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Hi, Pat. Hello, Anna. Hello, Michelle. 89. Hi, Karen. Are you are you back in states or are you still on your cruise? Let us know in the comments. Did you like your trip? I'm curious to hear. Hello, Susanna. Hello, hello. So today, guys, I'm following up on next or last week's live. If you remember, we made transfers. And thank you so much. So many of you purchased these. I really appreciate it. I actually ended up extending the sale um, till I think 22nd. So if you haven't already, take advantage of the sale. It's uh, uh, normally it's ten dollars. Um, now it's eight, twenty percent off. And I'm going to just quickly put the link in a comment section so you guys can grab these while they are on sale. So let's see. All right, it should be in the comment section now. All right, so I wanted to use some of the transfers from last week in today's live, and so um, that's what I will be doing today. Before we get started, before I begin, I wanted to also share you some sneak peeks for my subscription group. If you are a member, you will get more details in the group, but for those of you who are not, uh, who maybe you are considering, joining uh, there are three well there are there are four tiers but three are active tiers okay so uh, first year this is coming next month October 1st um, I'm going to show you how to make a Halloween platter and then second year uh, second year actually has um, in the in the in the there's a it's a bundle basically you have the tutorial from the cookie crafters and also you will get your own explosive tutorial and that's the minis and then the last one and i'm so excited about this one because this picture doesn't even um do the justice to, for the, to the whole project that i will be sharing with you this uh, upcoming month in the three icing cookie wizard group okay so those are going to be available in the patreon group you can sign up um through here, um, there is a ticker on the bottom there. You can sign up through through there and check out all, all the different tiers. Okay, let's see who is here. Martha loved the last week. Thank you. Hello, Jan from Alabama. Hello, hello. All right, so let's uh, jump right in. I'm going to first talk about um, the colors. So let's bring my camera. Okay. So this is a fall, fall theme. Um, cookie that I will be decorating today and I wanted to just share with you this is a quick tip so all these colors um, have some brown in them okay so this is actually this is one of my favorite colors claret from Progel so it's a straight from a bottle claret and I add a little bit of brown also orange has a little bit of brown and all of these green colors have some brown in them just different amounts you can see um, the shades are slightly different. This is white, obviously, and this is yellow. Again, you see the separation. I've had this sitting here for a while. So this is what a separated icing looks like. It's in the piping bag. At this point, you could try to mix it in the bag, but um, I would probably suggest um, getting it out of the bag and mix it in a little bowl just to make sure it's all combined. And today I will be also using, this is a PME tip, one point five very nice tip i love using it so now we can get started and i will be using a plaque shaped cookie cutter 
If you are new to the live stream, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you are here. And also a reminder, there is a kind of like a recap um, live stream newsletter that you can grab. It's free. Um, it's also available in my coffee shop. That's a template shop. I put the link in the comment section. And in this temp this PDF, this is a PDF. It's clickable, so you can kind of uh, look at the things that we talked about. It includes tools that I will be using today. And you can also, um, if you if you are watching later and you want to watch the replay, you can also find a link where to watch the replay. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. It's nice to see you too. All right. So let me remove this screen here and let's do uh, this, this one. So for those of you who haven't seen the last week's live, I'm just going to do a quick kind of refresh what we are going to do today. So last week I prepared these mushroom transfers along with the acorn um, transfers. And you can get the transfer sheets in my uh, in my shop, like I talked about it um, about that in the beginning. I'm using 20 seconds uh, consistency to make the transfers. Let me just jump here so you guys can see. Then you add the dots, and then you add the like the underside. So you can make these ahead of time, and then use them to decorate your cookies. And if you have any questions. While we just go quickly through uh, through this, you can um, pop those in in the comment section. I also have a favor to ask. Next week, I'm kind of switching to Halloween. What do you guys think? It's a good idea because we are the last week of September, and Halloween is just really very, very close. <laughs> I mean, so I'm going to switch to Halloween today. We're doing fall. But next week it's going to be Halloween. So let's just, let's, uh, okay, Michelle says yes. Yes, great idea. Ready for Halloween. Yes. Because uh, we are, right, the fall start, is, is it tomorrow? The fall starts tomorrow, September 21st, or is it September 23rd? Can't remember. So here I'm using edible marker. And obviously you can rewatch this in detail in last week's live stream okay if you missed it oh it's 21st so it's tomorrow so tomorrow we're welcoming or 23rd okay we have we have okay let me know is it 21st or 23rd fall start september 23rd okay very very close karen so now you just add an outline and then you have to let it dry with transfers and i will talk about transfers during the icing break a little more i'll show you some uh, samples or ideas um, how you can use them also in cake decorating yes you can use them in cake decorating if you didn't know that and now let's do the acorns really quickly so same idea using 20 second consistency royal icing so it's 23rd so we have two more days of summer <laughs> two more days of summer I'm wondering where you are. Have you seen any leaf changing, the color changing, or is it still kind of nice and green? Or have you noticed the leaves are maybe even falling? Hello to Italy. We are very international today. So now we can do the cut. Well, we can do the wet on wet dots if you wanted to do that, or you could skip it and just go ahead and do the caps instead. And these transfers, they will last for a very long time. We, talk, we talked about that last week. If you store these properly, they will last for, uh, for many, many years. Pennsylvania, we're getting color here. Wonderful. I love fall. It's just so beautiful. Especially if I don't have to rake the leaves. It is very, very beautiful. <laughs> I miss I miss fall here in um, here in Spain where we are the um, the leaves really don't change color we have mostly palm trees and then evergreens some um, in some areas there is some color but it's very very um, seldom so I do miss fall and uh, the season of pumpkins that we had in Pennsylvania 
So now, once you are done with the acorns, again, let them dry and then you can use them to decorate the cookies. In South Georgia, there is pine straw falling, if that counts. Our <laughs> live oaks lose leaves all year long. I, uh, I don't know if um, I actually feel your pain, Martha, because here with the evergreens, the pine, it's constantly falling with the wind and everything. So we do have like to do a lot of cleanup in regards to the pine needles. Okay, so the leaves don't change until October, November in Louisiana. All right, so let's get a head start on fall. And so this is a small plaque cookie cutter that I am using today. And I'm just using 15 second consistency royal icing. This is very simple. We're going to use um, dry on wet application with royal icing transfer uh, for both of the cookies, but I will show you um, some samples during the icing break what it looks like if you if, when you are using dry on dry application because if you can also use dry real icing transfer on dry real icing. Now I'm going to increase the pressure squeezing the piping bag a bit more so more icing is coming out going along the edge and then filling in the center and this is just white icing because for this design, I'm going to add mushrooms and I just felt like the white was good. Um, it was complementing the mushroom cap with, the, with white dots. Bad lives in South Texas, so it's hot most of the year. Okay, so it just gets very kind of cool in October. Yeah, I've heard that here also, I guess because the summer was so hot. Hello, Marsha from Florida, hello. Excellent question. Let me stop this. The transfers are paper or some kind of nylon. Okay, so the transfers, thank you for that question. Um, transfers are royal icing. I, I piped royal icing on acetate sheet. You can also use parchment, but acetate works really well because it gives you really smooth underside without any creases, without any kind of um, let me just, um, I have some, I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for something, but I guess I can't find it. Um, I was going to show you, oh, here we go, sorry. So you can use parchment, you can use wax paper, you can also use, there is a product that is specific, that is called acetate and you can purchase that, it's food grade, but you can also use food protector sheets clear, a smooth protector sheets to pipe your royal icing. One thing that is super important when you're making these transfers, you have to let the icing dry completely before you can do anything with it and remove your transfer. Okay, so now we're going to grab those cute little mushrooms. Um, they're very, very uh, kind of tiny. So I'm using tweezers to place them on wet icing. No worries, okay, no worries at all. Is it Ilien or am I saying it right? Please let me know. And now um, instead of uh, doing the splatter, I decided to place the dots with luster dust exactly in certain spots. So I'm using my scribe tool, picking up the luster dust paint and placing it on wet onto the wet icing and it, it sinks into the white. This is totally optional. I just wanted some gold in there. Hello, Zelda. Hello to Texas. How is Texas treating you this week? So let me just pause this. We have a good question. Marsha, it's nice to put Yes. Yeah, I also like that. So you can you can get your templates that are printed on regular paper um, and then you can put them in your protector sheet and keep them in like a notebook. Yes, I like that idea. 
Okay, let's continue. And after this step, you're going to have to let the icing dry. And now we're going to just decorate the outside, outside of the kind of like um, a border, creating a border with this lovely green. I'm using PME piping tip here. And this is a piping consistency, so it's slightly thicker. It should um, have a peak, but uh, it should kind of bend down, but it will never, it should never become um, blended with the rest of the icing in your bowl. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you could add a name. Yeah, I like that idea. I love, uh, I love that. Now we're going to switch. So I'm going to show you in a little bit how to make these, um, how to make the cut on a piping bag. So I'm making small leaves. I just cut the bag on an angle. And my icing is slightly thicker, like a medium thick, but you could also work with piping consistency icing for these. If you uh, want to work very quickly and you just want to quickly pipe these, my icing is slightly thicker. If it's thicker, uh, you have to pay more attention to the pressure and when you are pulling away so you have the pointed leaf. I'm going to do two, two shades of green on both sides. So now I'm, I did the inside, now I'm going to start outside and again just very randomly i'm just placing these leaves here and there oh this is so exciting you're going to meet amber oh yeah it's this weekend awesome if you can say hello okay i will i'm sure i will talk to her but uh, it's probably a very busy week for amber and for everyone going to the um it's the new jersey shore right I think I'm right. Is that right, Michelle? Is that the one you're going to? Is it a new New Jersey shore? I think I, yeah. Yes, the white should be dry, exactly. The white icing should be dry, and then you can add your lovely border. And then, thank you, Michelle. And then uh, you can um, add the leaves. And I love the idea of the, um, like if you can, you could personalize these, add the name with edible marker just above the mushrooms. The second design is even more in favor of uh, uh, table setting cookies. All right, so now I'm switching to, this is a slightly brighter green, if you can tell. This is leaf green with just a touch of brown. So it's a bit muted. Yeah, Karen, I absolutely agree. This I didn't even cross my mind. And I love uh, table setting cookies. I make those for Christmas mostly, but I think this would be great for Thanksgiving maybe even. All right, so I think I have to add a few more leaves. Sometimes it's hard to make the decision where you want to pipe the leaf. All right. Few more. All right, so this is the mushroom cookie. Remember I mentioned that I will show you how to cut the piping bag uh, when making the, this flag, if uh, I believe this is, um, I believe, <laughs> I believe it's Wilton. 
if I'm not mistaken. Bill came, came they, they came up with, I think, three, uh, it's a set of three plaques, I think, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But I will double check. Yeah, Marsha, I do agree. The border really makes makes the cookie. Yeah, I, I will show you one without the border so you can compare. But let me first bring up this screen so you can see how I'm cutting the piping bag. So I'm cutting it on an angle, almost like if, if you were to do the roses, like a petal tip. And then the longer longer side of the piping tip, the one that is, you see, it's, it's on the, I guess you're seeing it. Hopefully you're seeing it like I'm seeing it. Hopefully it's not mirrored. So the one on the left that is facing the left, it's the one that you want to hold um, facing fancy facing the ceiling when you're piping the leaves, if that makes sense. Okay, so now let's do quickly the acorn cookie. Hello, Katie. So again, you want to ice the cookie. This is slightly sped up version. I decided to use this light um, yellow color mixed with a little bit of brown. And again, we're going to add, um, first I'm adding a branch. For this, I'm using brown icing. And then I will add two acorns. All right, and now again, using the same Technique, making the gold dots. Again, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. So you can just splatter it before you add the acorns if you don't want any gold on your acorns. Thank you, Karen. Yes, it does. Again, your yellow background base should be dry or at least thick crust should be formed on your icing when you do the outline here or the, the border. And this is the same icing I used on the previous cookie with the mushrooms. And for this one, I decided to add some color because I felt like the green, it was too much green. So that's why I'm using claret mixed with just a touch of brown and also some orange mixed with a little bit of brown. It just breaks that um, green a little bit. If it was, again, um, green, it would be, it wouldn't pop. I felt like it wasn't what I wanted. So again, I'm going around piping all these tiny leaves here and there. And I guess I didn't, uh, I guess that's it. So I will show you, uh, let me remove this and let me bring up my screen. So let's, let's bring up the cookies and then we can also do a little I can transfer Q&A if you have any questions. Okay, so here are my transfers. You can see them here. Quite tiny, like I mentioned earlier. So, so tiny. You see, very, very small. And here are the finished cookies. I left this cookie undecorated, so you can tell me what you think if the, like, I do like it like this, and I think here you could pipe even a happy fall or a name on the branch that would make a really nice place card. Um, and then add the, the border around. I also wanted to show you, so let's do the icing break. I also wanted to show you what Sally made. Oops. So Sally, are you still here? So Sally made the football cookies. I believe these are for Sally's husband. And we made um, football cookies a couple weeks ago, if you guys remember, during the live stream. And it was, here we go, September 6th. So Sally, always so prolific, always making cookies. Thank you so much for sharing the picture with me. So I also wanted to, let's see, I have a few comments. Thank you.
Thank you, June. So I also wanted to share with you a few ideas for realizing transfers. If you're hesitant and you haven't tried your own realizing transfers, um, I when I first started with decorating, I actually didn't use them on cookies. I used them on a cake. So the story goes, um, our friend was uh, son was celebrating 10th birthday and he was really into um, uh, Japanese um, pagoda. I think that's how you, you pronounce it, right? Um, so I wanted to make this cake, but I, the roof was collapsing and I didn't know gum paste at that time. So I decided to make realizing transfers. So the roof is made out of transfers, if you can believe it. Another time I used realizing transfers on a cake was uh, for the ballet studio. The silhouettes are actually realizing transfers. I, I shaped them on a curved surface as well as the, the christening cake. I believe this is Armenian um, writing. So I did that and those are realizing trans transfers. Otherwise I would have a really hard time cutting those out. Um, out of fondant, that would be very difficult. I feel like it would be quite hard. So th then again, you can use transfers, like I mentioned, um, we did today, um, dry transfer on wet icing. That's the same I'm doing here. So I, I my F65, it's dry, and I'm adding it onto the wet icing. Same here, dry trans transfer, I'm adding onto the wet avocado but here this is something different so i added my transfer and in this this case this is a really cute pug i added the transfer directly onto the cookie so you can also do that and then i iced around it and i also here we go and these are also added like the eyes they were added directly onto the cookie and my sunflower center was added on a dry icing. You can also play with different um, textures when you're making realizing transfers. I created the shingles using, um, this is an icing, icing comb um, used on cakes. You can also use it with real icing. Uh, the only thing is you have to understand the consistency for this project. Your icing needs to be super thick, so it will kind of keep that shape. And then I used it on my um, Nightmare Before Christmas gingerbread house. You see the shingles? That's all royal icing. So royal icing, it's really wonderful. It, you can use it for so many different things. Here I made um, different decorations for my, for my um, this was a mermaid gingerbread house. So you can create so many different things. And let me end on this tone. So um, this, these are made with stencil. Again, royal icing. Then you let them dry and you have yourself these little pieces. And I use them again for shingles on this fall inspired gingerbread house. So let me know in the comment section how you creatively use, have you used the realizing transfers? Have you tried something new? I would love to hear. Um, if you are experimenting, let me know in a comment section. And also, if I can find it. I wanted to, hmm. And, okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. So this is a dry on dry. You see the egg there? So it's a dry center that was airbrushed and it's placed on a dry white base. And this one also. These two are part of the, I think, Snow White gingerbread house. And both of the border, which is basically a window, and also apple basket, they are dry and I'm adding them onto the dry surface. So you have some options when you are working with real icing and how you are applying it on your cookies. Okay, let me let me switch the. All right, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you for being here, everyone. I will be going live again next week on Wednesdays. And uh, like I said in the beginning, um, I'm leaning towards the Halloween because it's just it's coming up so fast. I can't believe it's just a few weeks away. So I'm planning some Halloween stuff. You can also, um, if you have some suggestions, you can uh, let me know in the comment section. And I'm just waiting for you to let me know if you've used your transfers. Thank you, Heather. So Marsha, I have used them limited to small flowers. Yes, flowers are wonderful. Like realizing like roses are very popular. Those are also transfers. So um, let me know. Love your all your houses. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for being here. Kathy, June, Sally, everyone, Marsha. Thank you for um, Elaine. Thank you for being here. And I will see you next uh, next Wednesday. Also, um, look out for the newsletter. Yes. You're very, you're very shy there. I mean, you could also say, I mean, I know who the owner is. This was an amazing thing for you. So I'm so happy for you, June. All right, everyone, let's wrap it up. And I will see you next week. Until then, have a good one. Bye, everyone.